today we're going to make chicken soup. So we start with an empty pot and we put a little olive oil at the bottom. And then all soups mainly start with three ingredients. And that would be chopped onions, chopped celery, and chopped carrots. And we're going to go ahead and put that on the stove. to start simmering. Once we get that going, we'll add water to about, uh, probably about half the pot of cold water, salt, pepper, um, our chicken, and I have some tomato that I pulled out of the freezer, and I'm gonna add corn to ours, frozen corn. So salt, pepper, parsley, a nice handful of parsley, and, um, but first we have to let that start to simmer. Here's our onions, carrots, and celery starting to um, saute. And then we'll add the salt, pepper to this. So I added about a teaspoon of pepper and about a tablespoon of salt. And that continues to simmer. Our onion, carrots, and celery have been sauteing for about three or four minutes. So we're going to go ahead and take that off the stove and add our water. We're just going to go ahead and add some cold water to our sauteed onion, celery, and carrots, salt and pepper. Just going to fill that pot truly you can make as as full as you'd like. I've filled mine to three quarters before, but I don't really need that much soup today. So we're going to go about a half of this. And this is a big stock pot. Uh, I make my gravy and meatballs and stuff like that in here. So you can use any pot size that you'd like. Okay, so we have our pot full of water. Uh, next, we're going to add our chicken. And it can be a full breast with bone, or if you have skinless chicken, that's fine as well. We're going to add some tomato. Now, if you have just plum tomatoes at home, you can just add a couple plum tomatoes. You can open a can of tomato and throw a few of those in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add, I have some frozen corn. If you like corn in your soup, go ahead and add that if it's frozen. Um, to add a little flavor, sometimes I add a little chicken bouillon. So we'll go ahead and add two cubes of chicken bouillon in this soup, because this is our chicken soup. And as promised, I already had salt and pepper, but I'm gonna put a nice handful of parsley right on top. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the stove and uh, let it cook at least two hours. So while the chicken soup is cooking, I thought I would show you how to make butternut squash soup. So you take a butternut and you cut it in half and then you scoop out the seeds and you, what I do is, as you can see here, I've taken an onion, peeled it and just quartered it. And you bake that in the oven at 425 or 400 until you can take a knife and just go through gently. As long as it goes through that butternut, then you'll be able to scoop it out. So I did go ahead and prepare this butternut yesterday. So that way today when I was making soup, I could show you how we, we make it. So you can take the onion that you've go ahead and baked and just a regular spoon and you scoop out that butternut. You want to go ahead and get every all the pulp out, just leaving the bare skin. This is truly a very easy recipe. 
to do, especially if you have gluten-free or vegans or vegetarians in your household, which I do have um, a vegetarian, two vegetarians living here. So it's a great, easy recipe to do. So you get the general idea. You fill up the blender with your inside of your butternut squash and you just add, and this is just vegetable broth. I forgot to mention when you put the butternut in the oven, I always salt and pepper it on top too, but I'll throw a little salt and pepper in this as well, just a small amount. And then you just cover your blender and put it on your, and you go ahead and turn it on and And you'll decide on the consistency that you like. If you like it a little uh, thinner, just add more broth. If you like it a little thicker, then next time add a little more pulp. Okay, so once you get all that in your pot, once you've gone ahead and completed your butternut scraping it all, you keep doing, keep blending it, and then just put it on the stove and simmer that, maybe even just 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you have delicious homemade butternut squash soup. Okay, I'll show you the finished product when it's ready. So it's time to go ahead and take the chicken out of the pot. So I just took it out with some tongs, and you see steaming here coming out. And your chicken should be cooked all the way through, and you just go ahead and cube it up or Cut it up in small pieces. Uh, meanwhile, I have some orzo, but you could use noodles um, if you prefer. And I'm going to go ahead and put that right in the uh, soup as it's boiling. It's going to cook for 11 minutes. So go ahead and keep that stirred as you go. Meanwhile, I'll cut the cube, cube the chicken up. And after 11 minutes, after the chicken's cubed, I'll pop it in there. In 11 minutes, the noodles will be ready. And our chicken soup will be all set. Now, you may ask, what do you like to eat your chicken soup with? We always use um, Pecorino Romano and sprinkle it on our chicken soup. So, um, I'll be showing you the serving in a minute. Chicken soup and also butternut squash. Here's a bowl of our butternut squash soup, which was one butternut roasted with a large onion at 425 for about 45 minutes to an hour until it was tender with one container of vegetable broth. We blended that and then pre-cooked it together for about an hour. And here is our chicken soup which has all our vegetables in there including corn, onion, celery, carrots, tomato, and we have the chicken and orzo. I wanted to let you know I had two different boxes of orzo out when I was showing you. That doesn't mean I added two boxes of orzo to the pot. It wasn't even a full box of orzo that I added to the pot. So maybe maybe about three quarters of a box. And bon appetit. Enjoy your meal. Thank you.